Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Bison Workshop, I'm Bob, and today I got started on something and I thought, well you know what, I'd like to show this off. <laughs> it turned out to be such a good job, I figured I'd just go on and uh, uh, do it to it, do a video of it. Um, I had this chrome skull that lights up and I had it on my computer for a long time and I thought, well, you know what, I was going to put it on my lathe, but I thought, nah, let me put it on my big bear. <laughs> so what we're doing is making a bracket or aluminum piece to go over top of it, the existing bumper, and I'll show you what we got. So I drew this panel out that fits right here, and I made it come up a little bit higher than this so that when I get done and get it mounted on here, then I can take the dead blow rubber hammer and just kind of bend that over so it fits the same contour. And that may require me having to take this back off one more time just so I can get it bent down a little bit tighter so that when I put this on, it'll be tight against this top rail and it'll look like it was supposed to be that way. But we're gonna redesign it a little bit and basically what I'm doing is I'm going to pick me a bit, a uh, hole saw, and we're just going to cut a big circle right here. Whatever will fit in this area is what we're going to do. We're just going to do a circle. First thing you want to do is brush your old job off. <laughs> now, I have plenty of plates that I've made or tables and stuff like that. So... What we've got here is a table that I use for my vise. So we're going to take that out. And we're just going to stick that in there just about like that right there. And then we're going to drop this thing down simply because we want to be able to get to it to drill the, uh, or to screw the, um, plate down to it and it doesn't have to be square or nothing we're not we're working we're not working on no uh, uh, space shuttle so now we get this set up So now we've got our holes made. Now we just take and wallow them out. So basically what we want to do is chamfer these out. Attention to detail, man. All right. So now I'm going to sand this and we'll do that so here's what we're doing to it 
I'm doing the same thing to this dash that I did that I ended up not using and ended up screwing it up worse than uh than anything. I mean it looks nice, it fits nice. Just I couldn't use it because of the fuel gauge. I couldn't get a fuel gauge that matched the tank that was in my truck. So I ended up scrapping that idea and putting it back original. But anyway, that's what we're going to make it look like. And we're just going to sand it with DA sander. And yeah, it's getting a little rough. So don't compliment on my damn DA sandering pad. It's, it's dry rotting and falling apart from all these years of not using it. So we'll get to sanding. So there we have the plate and I'm just, I'm not worried about it being all perfect. It's aluminum. It, it looks good on its own. So, damn, I missed him. So now we'll go over here to the four wheeler. I gotta get me some zip ties and see if we can't mount this thing. Uh, we're just gonna take our screw, put it in the back side here. Stick your wires through the hole here. I've got one. And now we'll get if I can find a hole. <laughs> Alright, so now we we'll try to straighten it because the holes are a little bit bigger so I have enough room to move around. We will come in behind here. We want to make sure this thing is straight on both sides because once you bend, bend that over, that's where it's got to stay. So we make sure it's square, which right there looks pretty good. And now let's find the screws from the back side here and tighten them up. All right, guys, you ready? <laughs> we got her all hooked up and ready to go. What do you think of that? That looks pretty badass. <laughs> and it'll stay on? Well, I guess not. Um, it should stay on because if these lights are on, then this one should still be on too. Well, that sucks. I gotta short my switch, that's what it is. Yeah, for some reason I gotta short. I got it on the wrong wire, that's why. <laughs> oh well, high beam will work. So, um, There you have it. That's usually what I run with anyway. So, I think that looks pretty damn cool. Makes that thing look like it's got an attitude. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, I just thought I'd show you guys that little job. Let me turn my lights off and we'll be right back. So, basically I put it on the high beam side anyway. So, I wanted to put it on the low beam side simply because if it's on low beam, it should be on at all times because the low beams are on when the high beams are on. So my wiring's wrong or something. I don't know what it is. Either that or I'm having one of them blind moments. But uh, I'm gonna get ready to take off out of here and go do some scouting, hopefully, if it ain't too late. But um, I wanted to show you guys what I added to my bench before I go. Uh, I added a burner for my bench because from time to time I'm going to start, well I've already started, uh, making my own pellets. So uh, this year will work and now I got to find me a grate for it and I don't know if this one over here will fit it or not. Uh, I didn't even realize that grate was missing until just now. So I may have to use that one and just drill me a hole. Actually, just setting it there will be fine. Because no matter how you look at it, it's going to be on top of the fire. See how it fits this way. Don't fit it all that way. Well, it fits right down in there, side to side. So that'll work. So... The only thing I got to do is make a, a plug to plug this side over here because it's open. That's what used to go to the other burners in the grill itself. And I need to plug that in order to use this. And then I 3D printed, and that's pretty crude. My printer wasn't working right when I printed this one. And my electric acts like it's trying to go out again. Uh... So I can just put me a piece of tape over top of that and hide all that. But um, I 3D printed that because it didn't have one on it. And it's kind of big and bulky. Uh, I did 3D print two other ones that are a little more low profile, but they're smaller around. I was kind of hoping for one this big around, but this short. So... Is it me or is my camera blurry for some reason? But uh, anyway, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Later.